Today we're taking a look at the Be Quiet Dark Base 901 case. Be Quiet had sent us over for review with the launch of the white version of these cases. The 901 is a relatively large case in my opinion. I will say it's extremely well thought out though. The 901 is slightly different from most of the other cases that you might come across in that it supports multiple configurations, not only for increased airflow if you need it, but for optimum noise reduction if you don't. You can actually invert or reverse the motherboard orientation in order to flip the case around, like many of the other Be Quiet models. The 901 comes with a top and front panel that's removable. This is how they're actually reducing the noise output if they're installed, or if you remove them, opening up the path for air to flow through the case, you'll increase your cooling capacity. The Dark Base 901 supports up to 11 total fans, which is quite a bit of cooling capacity. You can install up to three 140 millimeter front fans, up to three 140 millimeter top fans, and up to three 120 millimeter side fans. Of course, you do have the rear 120-140 mount, and you actually have a bottom 120-140 mount as well. As for the stock configuration of fans, you're getting two Silent Wings 4 140 millimeter white fans on the front, and one 140 millimeter fan on the back. These Silent Wings 4 fans are very high quality fans. They can spin slow if your preference is for low noise output, or they can spin really fast if you need that CFM and high static pressure if you need to increase your cooling capacity. Air cooling is totally viable in this case, but I will say that this case supports quite a bit in terms of water cooling compatibility. We could actually go up to a 360 mil rad on the top or potentially a 420 mil rad on the front. So you can pretty much use any AIO on the market, or if you want to build a custom loop, that's pretty much completely supported as well, with multiple radiators. If you need that extra bit of cooling capacity, you can actually stuff a 360 mil rad on that side fan location too, which is kind of interesting. I don't know if I would need multiple rads that are that large, but you could maybe do it, if you were crafty enough with the cabling options, as well as the fittings. A feature that I really like in this case is that the top and front fan trays are actually trays. You can pull them out of the case and install your fans or your all-in-one coolers or your custom loop parts. Then you can actually mount them as one assembly piece back into the case. This is super handy during the build phase. As for how you can cram all this stuff into the case, part of the magic is that this case is huge. It actually supports EATX sized motherboards, which probably doesn't come as a surprise. In terms of the case itself, it's 604 millimeters long by 254 millimeters wide by 539 millimeters high. There's a lot of room for fun in this case, which means you can pretty much install almost anything you want. One nice thing is that you could actually load this thing out with 140 millimeter fans and actually spin them slower because you have so many of them. If you found yourself with a build that you really need that cooling capacity, you could just crank them all up to 100. You'd really be pushing quite a bit of air in and out of this case, removing lots of heat from your system. As for actually building a PC in this case, there's plenty of room for cable pass-through. Uh, there's a lot of cable tie-down locations on the back side of the case as well. That really made the build process very easy. It was super easy to hide all the cables, all of that stuff. So really 10 out of 10 there. As far as quality issues, at least in the sample that I have, there weren't any. Everything in the case layout made sense, there weren't any sharp edges, everything pretty much was just really high quality. As I mentioned, this case is a little bit larger. The net weight listed for this case is actually just shy of 40 pounds. So you're probably not going to be taking this case to LAN parties. If you want to show it off on your desk, it's not a bad option. I would say that this case isn't just all about cooling though. There's actually a crazy amount of room inside of the case for expansion. By default, you can fit either a 350mm or a 370mm graphics card with that drive cage add-on installed, but if you remove it, you can actually fit up to a 495mm graphics card. That's huge. Talking 3-slot 90 series NVIDIA card. So that's nice to see. 
since you're able to install massive GPUs in this case, it actually comes with an included GPU support bracket, which is kind of nice. I don't see a whole lot of cases that actually include them. Since you're probably going to have high-end components in this case, you might have guessed you're probably going to need a high-end PSU. This case will actually support a PSU that's up to 325 millimeters long, which is also very long. That's probably going to be some of the larger 1,000, 1,200, maybe even 1,600 watt PSUs. <coughs> Interestingly enough, you also have a lot of drive mounting options in this case as well. By default, the way that the case ships, you should be able to install up to two three and a half inch drives or six two and a half inch drives. If you really have a storage focus for your build though, you could go up to seven total three and a half inch drives or up to 16 total two and a half inch drives. It's kind of wild how much you can fit into this case if that's how you want to build it. As for the CPU cooler, well, you can definitely choose to go the air cooling route because we have compatibility here for up to a 190 millimeter tall CPU cooler. Again, that's huge. I don't even know of a 190 millimeter tall cooler. On the front side of the 901, we have quite a lot going on here in terms of functionality. Up top on the I.O. panel, we have one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, we have one USB 3.2 Type-A port, and we have a 3.5mm audio jack plus a mic port. Interestingly enough, this case also includes a 15 watt wireless Qi charger that's built into this top panel. I actually kind of really like that. It might sound silly, but on my computer, I pretty much always store my phone on top of my PC case. I never even really thought that they could integrate something like this, but I'm pretty much going to use this every day. The 901 is also coming with a built-in fan hub and ARGB controller. We've got these soft touch buttons on the I.O. panel for that. In terms of aesthetics, I think this is a really nice looking case here. Definitely a bigger, boxier type of case. I like that solid panel look on the front side. The mesh look isn't bad either though. In terms of the case door or the window, it's massive. It looks great in my opinion, and it really feels like a high quality piece of glass. And the way they attached the brackets to mount it, I think it's pretty solid and it's definitely going to hold up over time. In terms of the back panel, it actually has this sound deadening material that's adhered to the back panel. I actually kind of like that because it's going to help with the sound, but it actually gives a really rigid feeling to that back panel, so it's a little bit easier to get that on and off of the case. In true Be Quiet fashion, we do have some subtle ARGB strips on the case as well. It's a nice design in my opinion, a little bit of RGB flare, but it's not over the top. But if you wanted to add ARGB fans, you totally could do that. As for the overall build quality, well, I can only say it's excellent. In the sample that I have, there were no defects. All of the panels really felt solid. Nothing felt flimsy, nothing like that. In terms of the design for the case, nothing seemed rushed. It didn't seem like it was just a cheap copy of some other case. Everything was really well planned out, and it was very easy to build in the case as a result. And I definitely think it's worth noting this, because if you're coming from a smaller case, or maybe a lower end type of case, when you move into a case like this, all the extra space that you have, especially under the shroud for the PSU and on the back side of the case, combined with all the cable tie downs, you're really going to have a very clean looking build in a case like the 901. And that might not be important to you, but if you're going to be looking at it every day, or especially especially if you're going to show it off to other people, it's definitely going to come in handy. I would definitely say that this case is a step up from most of the mid-range cases that you're looking at for gaming PCs. I definitely feel that the 901 from Be Quiet is in a premium class of gaming PC cases. I like that it has tons of useful features built into it, and the whole design overall is really well thought out. I would definitely recommend this case to anyone looking for a larger case that pretty much can do everything. I don't really think you can go wrong here, and I think it represents a very good value, considering that you're getting three of the Silent Wings 4 fans included, and the 15 watt Qi charger. This video helped you out with your case purchasing decision for your PC, I would definitely appreciate it if you gave a like to the video. That lets YouTube know to share this with other people who are researching cases. If you're into gaming PC and home lab stuff, I would definitely encourage you to get subscribe to the channel, and then ring that bell for video upload notifications. Until next time, stay cool.